Let's see how to add a custom armor effect when you wear the full suit of armor. All right, we found ourselves back in IntelliJ once more. And in this tutorial, we're going to be adding a full armor effect. So this is going to be a potion effect that is applied to the player when you wear the full suit of armor. So the way that this works is I have a custom class, which I will actually copy over and then we'll go through the class and I'll try to basically explain all of the different methods that are in there and sort of line by line so that you basically understand what the class does. And I'm just going to copy this over. This is, of course, available to you in the description below GitHub repository in an individual gist as well. So no worries there. And the general idea here is, okay, what is this? What, what is going on here? Well, of course, this mod armor item extends the armor item class, which will be fairly self-explanatory in that moment. And we have a couple of methods, as you can see. But first of all, let's look at this map right here. So this map maps an armor material to a status effect instance. So number one, this status effect instance here basically saves us the status effect, the duration and the amplifier that we want our status effect to then well, be applied to our player. And this, you know, is done with Mithril and then the status effect luck in this case for 20 seconds and with an amplifier of one. So basically we're going to get luck two. What's very important is that this only works for modded armor materials and especially only our own armor materials. This is just a limitation because, of course, this is done in the armor item itself. So we have to have one of those armor items in our inventory. Otherwise, none of this is actually ever called. But let's think about this. So the inventory tick method is called when we have this item in our inventory. And first, we're checking that we are on the server. Okay. Then we're checking whether or not the entity that has this in this inventory is actually a player. And then we can we're able to cast this to the player. We are then taking a look at whether or not the player has the full suit of armor on. So this is also a method right here. And you can see we're just getting all of the item stacks from the armor and we're just making sure that all of them are not empty. So if all of them are not empty, then we know, okay, the player has a full suit of armor on. However, we're not yet sure whether or not it is the same pieces of armor or whether it's just, you know, maybe an iron helmet and like gold boots and stuff like that. We just know, okay, all of the armor slots are filled. And then we continue going to the evaluate armor effects method, where we're basically going through the entire map right here. So we're going through this map and we're just getting the armor material and the status effect. And then we're asking, hey, does the actual player have the correct armor on? And this is this method right here. And here we're checking whether or not the material that was supplied via the map is the same as the material that the player has on. And if that is the case, if all of them match, so if all of the materials or all of the armor pieces are the same, then in the evaluate armor methods, here we're true. And we're then calling the add status effect or material method. This, as you can see, simply checks whether or not the player already has the effect that is applied to it. If they do, then, well, we're not going in here, as you can see. So it ha doesn't have to have the effect. And then also we're checking one more time if the correct armor is on. And if all of that is the case, then we're making a new status effect instance with the type, the duration and the amplifier specified here. So this effect instance in this case is actually never used. This is also very important because if we were to use it, then we actually couldn't reuse it. We can only use it once because that's the, like you always have to make a new instance for the status effects. That's why we are making a new instance here and we're just taking the values of this instance basically. Well, and this is actually almost all of the functionality of this particular class. We can also add some damage to the armor every time that our a particular effect is applied to the player. We don't have to have this. That's why I basically commented this out. And what we have to do with this mod armor class is we have to go into our mod items class and then, for example, just change the helmet to the mod armor item. Now, what's very important is that you only need to change one item in one set. So basically only changing the helmet is more than enough. You don't have to put all of them in the mod armor item. I personally like to choose the helmet. It just feels very natural in that sense. But whatever the case may be, that is actually all that we need to do. So for completion's sake, Let's see if it works. All right, we found ourselves back in Minecraft. As you can see, the luck effect is already being applied to the player. So everything is working exactly how we would expect it to. Now let's actually just get rid of all of the other items right here. So let's just get rid of all of them. And let's take off, for example, the chest plate. And you will see that the luck is not being applied again. And then as soon as I 
put the chest plate back on, you can see luck is being applied once more. So that's actually how easy that can be. Right, once again, the class is of course available to you in the description below, GitHub repository and individual gists as well. But otherwise, this would be it for this tutorial right here. I hope you found this useful and you learned something new. If you did, I would very much appreciate a like. And don't forget to subscribe for more tutorials just like this one. So, yeah.